better job of protecting the middle of the ice. We're still in the early stages of this period. We've still got zeros on the board. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick pass to Barner. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Marchand's taking it from his own end. The Leafs have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Matthews setting up against the wall. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Denies him. He got all of it. To the low slot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Jordy's got it. And they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Tavares wins the draw. They'll look to set up here offensively. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Leafs played along the boards. Taken along the wall by Frederick. Gives him a whack and the officials are going to call this one. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. The Leafs don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. Pastor Knox very accurate when he shoots a settle down puck with a snipe zone ability. Marner's an incredible playmaker, and with his third eye zone ability, he can make deceptive passes to set up his teammates. Now, these are impact players, and I'm expecting one of them to leave their mark on this one here tonight. Now, let's set it back upstairs. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Boston's won the draw. Now, let's see what they can do with it. Stop that one. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Puck bounces into the bench and we'll get a face off. Marshawn's a player who sticks with the play, guys. He's got that no contest zone ability. That means he goes into those 50-50 puck battles so he can get possession for his team and generate new chances. And manages to clear the zone. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Marchand's crossed the line and gained the zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Well said, made by Sam Soto. Coyle's ready for the draw on this man advantage. Boston's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Leafs will kill off a few extra seconds now. And they manage to clear it. 
And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. The Bruins get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, the PK does a great job. And when you kill a penalty, you create momentum. A great start there. Jody's got it across the line. Great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. The Leafs finally break the ice and get the game's first goal. Yeah, and it's an important one, James, because there's not much room out there and not much separating these two teams. So that little bit of a cushion may give them the stir, the press they need to be more consistent and try and get another one on the board. Bertuzzi's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. Gets it over to Brazil. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. over to Bertuzzi. Quick feed to Yarncro. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Boston's got the puck. Slides the puck over. Can't keep a hold of it. The Leafs moving ahead. The serve Oh, he comes up with a stop. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The Leafs lead it 1-0. And they take possession off the draw here in their own end. And he sends it across to Coyle. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Marchand. And he shut the door on that last play. Samsonov's been consistent over the course of his career, mainly because of his positioning, James. He gets set to that puck, square to it, and makes the save. The Leafs have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. The Bruins win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, what a stop! We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. They fight for it along the boards. And the puck's kick free. Let's the wrister go. Monster save by Samsonov. And the puck's in the low slot. The goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Pasternak's looking to make something happen here in the corner. And he takes the feed. Takes the feed. mark of this period. Toronto's ahead, 1-0. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Quick pass to Frederick. Wax it into the offensive zone. Passed up ahead. Moves it to Wotherspoon. Boston's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Oh, how did he get a global by Samsonov. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Here's a short pass to Kiki. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Pinned up along the boards. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Camps gain the line and on the attack. Takes a shot. Comes up with a blocker save. Quick feed to Kiki. The Bruins played along the wing. 
Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Dumps the puck in. Boston's got possession of the puck. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Picked up along the boards by Brody. Puck sent over to Bertuzzi. And he takes the dish. And that goes off the player. Scooped up along the wall by Domi. And look at this. They turn this offensive end into a pressure cooker. Oh, they have really got the cycle going. And the D come up with it in their own end. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Slides it on over to Bertuzzi. Odd man rush. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Pass across to Pasternak. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Big time defensive play. Slides the puck across to Yarncroft. Huge steal in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Yarncroft. Here's a chance. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Well past the midway mark of this period. Toronto's up one zip. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Picked up along the wall by McAvoy. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, and he's dialed in tonight. What a save on that one. Puts it on that for the point. There's another stop. What a sequence. I mean, he's been outstanding making the... He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes a count. I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Here in the late goings of the period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Makes a move, and the puck hops away from him. Pants tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off the stick, and he lost possession. Good hit to bump him off the puck. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Oh, and a nice play to free up the puck there. Through the neutral zone now, picking up Steen. Sends it in on the attack. Quick feed to Van Riemsdyk. Shot to the awesome. Samsonov's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. McAvoy's playing with such confidence right now, and he's got this point streak going, and when that's happening for you, you're having a ton of fun putting up the points. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Matthews takes possession right off the draw. The Leafs have it now. The Bruins gain control of the puck. Fantastic save! Samsonov's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Matthews wins the faceoff at his own end. Here's a chance! Just misses. What an opportunity there. Well, just is a big word, James, because when you have an opportunity like this from a primetime scoring area, you have to finish it off. He doesn't even hit the net. Grabbed along the board by Wilgren. Oh, fantastic save by Sweden. He's got a gift to read and anticipate the... Off the outside of the iron With a chance to go ahead and a huge opportunity right there, it's going to go off of the pipe and out. Boston's got the puck against the boards. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. 
The Bruins take the one goal lead here in the first. Uh, and if I'm the coach, I'm telling them to keep going. Be aggressive. Stay on the puck, especially after you score a goal head goal. You got them back on their heels. You got to attack. Puck grab by Leah Bushkin. Huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. Here in the late going of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Boston's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face off. Takes a dart but still hangs on to the puck. break away from his opponent then reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert what a beautiful play man is he ever flying james it looks like everyone else is in quicksand and he is moving he gets on his horse he's in all alone one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender he doesn't freak out he doesn't panic shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip Boston's got in front by a goal here in the first. Well, I really like the way they've competed here, James. They get the go-ahead goal, but they got to find a way to continue to attack. you got to play with killer instincts, especially when there's so much time left. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. And they'll dump it in. Takes the pass. The Leafs move it in. Here we go. Puck's in deep. And he takes the pass. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Here's a centering pass. And that's stopped. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Boston's coaches wanted a lot of shots on net. And the team has delivered so far leading late in the first. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. The centermen glide into position. Coils won the draw. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Quick pass to Domi. The Leafs play it along the boards. A chance in front! Scores! And they beat the buzzer and get one late here in the period. They always say, James, that to start a period times and they get one here they go to the dressing room with a lot of momentum that's what you call having a knack for the net james when you get in tight and you're sniffing around you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close This is going to be a fun one tonight. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 58 seconds. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Both teams at the front. Go ahead, go ahead. Here as we get underway in the second. Still time. Checking and playing solid D in his own end, guys. His stick em up zone ability means he can use his twig to disrupt attackers. Boston's got the puck. McAvoy's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Boston's got the puck against the half wall. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Here's a blast! Gets in the lane with the body. Puck scooped up by Van Riemsdyk. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping call. I thought he had good position there on his opponent. James fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call.
The Bruins once again send out their power play unit. Power plays, more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular with their puck movement. Kiki's ready to take the draw here on this power play. The Leafs take possession off the faceoff. Looks to set up at the point now. Shattenkirk sneaking havoc in front of the net and a lot of confusion there as he set up as a tripod in a screen. Matthews and company still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. work so much on their reaction time and man this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save well a huge face off coming up here well you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice so you want to find ways to get to net front presence get shots through the net because man he needs a rest Gaining momentum. Moves it to Coyle. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Puck move back to the neutral zone. The Leafs manage the damage control. We are still tied as we're back to even strength. I really like what this PK unit has done. And James, in my experience, I know what it's like to be out there in a tie game. You want to execute your role to the best of your ability. You know what it's like to go down by one. And it's really deflating when it happens on a PK. So finding how to do it, getting it done. Just did it. Gets the puck over to Tavares. The Leafs move to the offensive zone. Here's a chance. How did he stop that one? He really owns the piece when he drops into that butterfly positioning. And for the shooter, I think it's intimidating. He makes himself as big as possible. And everyone knows he's athletic to boot. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. what they can do with it offensively. Toss up the puck after that hit. Sends the pass over. The Bruins move the puck in the defensive zone. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Bruins are being called for tripping. contribute on the power play here. His zone ability is something he can pull out of his toolbox, use to his advantage, and hopefully help the team score. Tries to clear the puck. Grabs control of it at the point. And that's off a stick. Rose Boots hauled down. Penalty on the way. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Well, you don't see this very often, James. The first penalty is called. It's a delayed call. Afterwards, they put themselves in a real tough spot. The Bruins with a four on three power play, and they've got plenty of time to go to work. Gotta love the four on three when you have some time. You can be patient, you can work switches, and you can bet they've worked on these lineups in practice, but they're gonna have to find a way to attack. You don't want to lull yourself to sleep on the perimeter. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And they send it down the ice. The Bruins gain possession along the wall. He drives to the sweet spot. And he opts to wait for more support. Throwing with the stop. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Camp's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. 
The Bruins win the faceoff. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Deep inside the defensive end, still trying to clear. Pasternak stick handling in his own zone. And now he passes up to Marchand. The Leafs gain possession of the defensive zone. Gets the puck in deep. Boston's got a hold of the puck now. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Got to give the penalty killers a lot of credit as the penalty expires. Well, that's a great power play, James. It's all about puck possession and retrieval. They did all of that and found their way to shots on net and good opportunities just didn't convert. Puck picked up by Zaka. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. The Bruins pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Here's a short pass to Van Riemsdyk. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moves it up. Bertuzzi's got it in the defensive end. Quick feed to McCabe. Puts it on there. Only put it just wide as it hits the outside of the post. The Leafs are still at even here. They had an opportunity to go up by one, but unfortunately they hit the pipe again. And that goes off someone in front that doesn't reach the net. Scores! Oh, wow! My goodness, what a finish. From that puck's on his hit change, you know that he's a magician, and he can deep his way to the net like he does just there. You don't have elite hands like this if you don't work on him, James. And you know he's put in the work because when he gets into these spots, he's got poise and patience with the puck. He can dangle with the best of them. And it's shown right there on that goal. Toronto's rolling now, having taken a one-goal lead here in the second. Well, yeah, they got to be a wave of momentum that continues to push and press now, James, as they seem to have control of the game right now. They can't give any momentum back to their opponent. Boston's on the attack. A chance in front! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Toronto's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. The Leafs win the draw. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Passes it over to Nylander. Handles the pass. Moves it quickly over to Jeremy. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Boston's put up a lot of shots and so far plenty of scoring chances, and yet they still trail here in the second. Kiki's won it off the faceoff. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Net is knocked off. We'll get a faceoff here. Past the midway mark in this period. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. Quick pass to Frederick. Goes right to the crease. Here he is with the backhand. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Bruins win the draw. Moves it to McAvoy. Toronto's got the win off that draw. Sends a pass over. In close! Big save in front. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Jostled off the puck. Angles it over to Frederick. Taken by Grislyk. Moves around along the half wall. Oh, great glove saved by Samsonov. Boston's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Samsonov's going to hang on for a whistle. 
The Bruins have had a lot of scoring opportunities, but they continue to trail here in the second. The Leafs start with the puck in their own end. Blast for the blue line. We got to stop and just the puck sails over the glass. More than half the period has expired. It's a one-goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. The Leafs win the defensive zone faceoff. Taken along the wall by Kent. Takes the feed from the left side. The Leafs will play it against the boards. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Riley. Boston's looking to break out. Feeds the puck to Carlo. Looking for space inside the D zone. Through center. And that's off a stick. Coming to the slot. Oh, a clutch save. Reeves never gave up on that play, James. It's a reason why he was able to get a shot off. Listen, I'll also tell you, not everyone has the skill set to be able to pull it off. I mean, he stumbles, he gets the puck in tight, and he still finds a way to get it to the net. That's incredible display of skill and, of course, complete level. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Matthews has got possession. Let's see what they can do with it now. And it goes off a stick and off to the side. And he slides it quickly to Van Riemsdyk. Boston's got it along the wall. And that one's turned away. Samsonov's been dialed in right from puck drop, James. I mean, he's made the key save that he's need to make, and it's all about for a tender managing the momentum swings of the game. And the timeliness of the saves have really given his team an opportunity. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. The Bruins have time to work with, but they need to convert on one of these scoring chances as they are trailing here in the second. And now it's grabbed by Lilgren. Dishes it to Bertuzzi. The Leafs take it along the wall. And it goes off a stick. Receives the pass. Moves inside. so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Blood goes up, makes the save. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick feed to Nylander. And there's the whistle icing the call. The Bruins have had no shortage of good looks so far tonight, but they still trail here as we approach the second intermission. Slides the puck across to Bertuzzi. And that's stolen in the offensive zone. Now a quick pass to Carlo. And the stick is best friend on that save right there. Toronto's got it in their own zone. With possession along the wall. From the slot. Quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Here they come on the attack. Makes the save. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Yarncro. The Leafs take it along the wing. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Late goings of this period. It's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. Boston's taking possession in their own end. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the bank pass. Fires it on net. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the glove by Samsonov. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. The Leafs come up with the defensive zone draw. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop. And now he moves it quickly to Riley. Goaltender covers up. we got a stoppage in play. 
Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Matthews wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Goes it to the middle. And that's stopped. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The Bruins have had more opportunities tonight, but at some point they need to start finishing here late in period number two. To the front! Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. On the attack along the boards. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck leaves the zone. Redirected shot! Nice reflex by the goaltender to get his glove on that one. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. And he takes the feed. And he's ridden off the puck. Slides it across to Marner. Toronto's got the puck in the defensive end. The Bruins gain possession. Slides the puck to Pasternak. Here's a shot. And he hangs on just as time runs out. We've played not one, but two periods now tonight. It's a chance to go grab that final snack. Go stretch your legs, because a big third period is just around the corner. Time to drop the puck here in period number three. It has been an offensive fireworks display here tonight, and I would expect it to continue here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Toronto's in the lead here in the third period, James, but this has been an action-packed, back-and-forth, entertaining game that just screams offense. I would have hated it. Why? There is zero defense to be had. Lots of time left in this period. Toronto's clinging to this 4-3 lead. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Across the line along the left wall. Center and He scores! What a play! Well, hockey is a game of inches. If the pass isn't on the tape, if it's in your feet, all of a sudden you're fumbling for it, and that gives the coverage time to defend you. But this one is right on the money, and the goal is a result. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Here's a change. And off the draw, they take the puck. And now it's over to Marchand. Great reach with the poke check by Leah Bushkin. And it's a quick pass to Matthews. And that's knocked away. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Slick feed. Toronto's moving it into the offensive end. Get it out of there. Picked up along the boards by Pasternak. Van Riemsdyk's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Especially teams in particular power plays, they can create so much momentum, but when you don't execute, it can really go the other way in favor of your opponent. It's really disrupted the flow of the game. They gotta get back on track. Big time stop. The Leafs are in transition. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. The Leafs carry it along the wall. Denies it with the save. Handles the puck. The Bruins will play it from the defensive zone. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Camp's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. 
And a solid job tying up his opponent. Trying to the zone. And the puck clears the zone. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can corral the puck and just fire it down the ice. Samsonov's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Coyle's ready for the draw on this man advantage. The Leafs win the draw here in their own end. Boston's got the puck now. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Boston's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kills. We're both back to even strength. What a night this PK is having and creating energy because special teams, that's what they do. And you can put your opponent on their heels just by a good kill. Great job. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. The Bruins win it in the defensive zone. Sends it over to DeBrust. Quick pass to Saka. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Here's a shot! Turned aside with a glove by Sam Sodov. Toronto's won the face-off deep in their own end. Takes the feed. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Well, he's got such a slick set of hands. He's trying to manipulate his opponent one by one, but he tries one too many, James, and he loses the puck. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. The Leafs win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. Big time stop! Gets a blocker on it! Too much traffic in the lane. From the blue line. Picked up along the wall by Marner. Here we go. He's really ratcheted up the intensity here now in the Ozone. Boston's in on the offensive attack now. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. The Leafs looking against the half wall. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. There he is from the slot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Moves it to Pasternak. The Leafs take over on possession. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. The Bruins have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Heinen. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. The Leafs have it now. Grabbed along the board by Heinen. Nice poke check. Yarncrocks crossed the line and is on the attack now. And he puts it in. And when you shoot it into your own net trying to clear the puck, that's ugly. Toronto's gone up by one here in period number three. Uh, and you know that they recognize that they've got the lead in the third period, so they have to be defensively responsible, but you can't just sit back and protect. You got to be aggressive when you get the moment and take advantage of it. Frederick's got the puck. Oh, he misfires on that. He was locked in there. And Sonoff's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. Puck grab by Nylander. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Van Riemsdyk. Here's a chance on the attack. Shuts the door with a great save. 
He is so difficult to beat when he drops into that butterfly positioning and gets square to the puck, keeping his arms tight to his body. Man, it is tough to find the back of the net. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Samsonov. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. The Bruins have it from their own end. Sends it quickly to DeBrusque. He carries the puck up along the wing. Here's a chance! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Play is called for offside. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Leafs are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And he denies that great opportunity there. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Boston's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Quick feed to Lauco. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puck battle along the boards. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. All right, well, we got a breather in action. Let's check in with our own Carlin Bay that rings up. Pasternak's been buzzing, and he's been rewarded here. His name in the box score proves he's had a stronger night, guys. Oh, he had the answer on that one. And he slides it quickly to Matthews. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Here's a shot, and that goes off a body. And he slides it quickly to Krizlik. Slides the puck over. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. Oh, what a stop on the play. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. More than half the frame has been played here. Toronto's leading by one. They're up 5-4. They win the draw and go on the attack. Stop by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. The centermen glide into position. Tavares won the draw and they'll start off on the attack. And that got cut up in traffic and goes off a stick. Battling for it along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Takes it across the blue line. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Boston's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. Toronto's won it. Puck scooped up by Brody. Positioning in the defensive end. Knowing how to protect a lead is critical, James, and you want to understand that you can create, you can still press offense, but you can't get it. Oh, so good. Oh, my goodness, what a start. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how we got to that block. It's some gymnastics at its finest. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. A critical draw here. Boston's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Quick pass to Rutherspoon. Scores! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. 
but if you out battle and out will the person in front, you're gonna find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Boston's picking the plot here in this third period while tying it up. I always find it so interesting, James, that how the game shifts throughout it, and at the end of the game, finally, there's a sense of urgency, and because of it, they're able to capitalize on the scoring chance. Musa quickly over to Kiki. Boston's across the blue line. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Nylander. Good check, frees the puck up. Can't hang on after that hit. Gains the zone from the right. Moves it to Heinen. Shot! That's denied by the goaltender. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. In the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. Boston's won the faceoff. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Now a quick pass to Grizzly. Takes a shot, and there's the save. Toronto's got a hold of the puck. Moves it over to Matthews. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Slides it quickly to Marner. Gaining momentum up along the side. Puck picked up by Pasternak. On the attack, they come down the right wing. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Krislik. And that puck leaves the zone. McAvoy's taking it from his own end. Quick feed to Kiki. And a successful clearing attempt. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a centering pass. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Boston's got the puck along the wall. Takes a hit on the play. They go on the attack through center. Works it across to McAvoy. Makes a save. Matthews takes the puck. And somehow he hangs on. Slides the puck ahead to McAvoy. Feeds it to DeBrusque. Knocked away with the stick by Wilgren. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Quick pass to Tavares. Oh, and a great save by Swayman. Takes the feed. Boston's ready to go on the attack. A feed out front! And he'll hang on to a terrain group here for a moment. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Under a minute to go in the third. Stops that one. Oh, and a heads up play to poke it away. Riley's lugging the puck. The Leafs play it along the boards. Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the sweater away. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. And he heard the answer on that one. Here he is, wrestling on that. Denies him again. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Big face off here inside the offensive end. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Well, there you go, 60 minutes played, and now we're going to head to overtime. Not all heroes wear capes. Some of them have skates. We'll find out who the hero is next. And they 
keep the pressure on. Taken along the wall by Matthews. Here's a chance behind the net. Hammers the shot, and that's turned aside by Sweeman. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Takes a shot. There's the save. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a faceoff. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Bruins win the draw on their own end. Moves the puck across to Coyle. The Bruins take it along the wall. Marchand's got it along the lane. The Bruins have it in the offensive end. Marner's into the offensive zone now with the attack. Way too much congestion blocks that. Taken by McAvoy. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Nylander's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the sentence. Well, I'm a little surprised they made that call in overtime, James, but nonetheless, it was called, so they have to figure out a way to kill it off. Another chance here on the man advantage. Well, this could be it, James. An overtime power play opportunity to get the W for your team. Who's it going to be? Moves it to your throw. That's off a stick. And now he moves it quickly to Yonko. Scooped up along the wall by Milgram. Scores! Your overtime winner! And a look at the overtime hero! What a night! Deflected shot. Everyone always talks about the stick positioning. How about the timing to get to the slot area as well? And the ability to just tap it down and redirect it. And here they come back out to salute the fans. Well, this is a great feeling. I remember doing this when I was an athlete. You come back on the ice to salute the fans for cheering you on throughout the game. Just a fun night all the way around. Ain't no party like a victory party. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sabolski. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.